Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at making SVG circle charts with D3. Let's get started. So first off, let's go in and open up uh, some new files. And so I'm going to go to my D3 project. Um, I created up a circle bar chart and I'm going to open these up. And let me move that over. All right, so first things first, um, let's go on and um, make up some of our um, our basic standard um, data points, okay? So um, let's do something like um, var, um, and I'm just gonna call this data now. Um, I'm getting tired of making mistakes whenever I uh, create it up. So 10, uh, 15, 20, uh, 25, um, and 30. Uh, and then the next thing that we're going to want to do is let's go on and actually um, set up our, I want to put in our width and height next. Width is equal to, let's make it uh, 500 var height is equal to uh, 500, just a 500 by 500. We have our data. Now let's go on and also make an array of um, colors. Now let me let me go and let me find maybe just a, a, a nice color gradient really quickly that we can play with. So let's 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 maybe try and make a rainbow. So we want something like um, um, let me see if I can. I have some hex numbers up here. Let me so let's do something like purple. So that'd be something like um, 9C 4F 96. Um, and you know what? I'm going to actually just go on and copy these. They're a lot um, easier to do. Here we have um, kind of a bit of a red, a reddish color. Um, and, and you know what? I need to put these. Let me put these in strings before I mess up any further on this. Um, let's see. We want an orange. Put in an orange. Uh, let's put in a yellow. Uh, let's put in a green. And then let's go on and put in a blue in there for our circle colors. Actually, this kind of would have been fun for some of the other charts that we've made in the past. So we, I may keep this color scheme up because it's kind of fun. Um, so we have already have our colors kind of picked out in here. Um, and again, you can, there's also, you guys can pick any colors that you want and pick any type of color gradient or palette or anything. I just picked these out because they're just a quick Google search away for me. Uh, and let's do something like, let's create our SVG here. So d3.select. Here we want body, uh, append an SVG to it. Um, we'll create an attribute here with the width. Uh, whoops. Is width and our height is the height. Uh, and that's done for creating up our SVG inside of our HTML file. We also want to go on and let's select all. Uh, let's create um, a graph in here and um, let's create a group of elements. You know what, let me call this group instead, instead of graph. Uh, and we want in here svg.select all here and we're going to tell we're selecting all of G, okay? Uh, because again, we're going to create a group of elements of that G. We need to go on and append, well not append, we want to grab our data Again, I called that. I did call that data this time, right? Yes, I call that data. Then we also want to 
uh, have it enter, so we want to actually attach it. Um, dot append g. So again, this is going to dynamically create one for any number that we have here. And let me see here: one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, how many numbers do we have here? Ten, fifteen, one, two, five, um, uh, thirty-five. Right. All right, that's fine. Um, now let's also see uh, what else we want in here. Let's go on and add in an attribute for transform. Here, and again, um, if you guys remember this, we've used it a couple times now. Um, we want to do something like return here, and we're going to do translate um, zero, zero. Because again, we're not move we don't want to move it up and down, we'll have it move horizontally in here for a um, circle chart. Mm -hmm. And then, whoops. Then let's go on and have an attribute here for our uh, X center. And here we want to return something like I multiply by 100 uh, plus um, 50 and then let's go on and add our whoops attribute of CY uh, and this will be D I uh, and we want to return in here oh, 100 1 100 um, and so this is again, we're setting here the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. And again, this is at the center of our circles. The next thing that we're going to want to do is add in our radius. And this is just a function of D here. And let's have it something like a return um, the radius multiplied by 1.5. It's 150% of this actual size here. So you can think about this if you're wanting to compare maybe populations or something like that. You could you can have the, each of these as the exact size, but then again you would have to factor this to some proper size again. So if, if populations are in the millions, maybe you want to scale them, divide them out by a million um, so that the size isn't just taking up your entire screen. Uh, now, uh, since we set the radius for each circle, we want to size our circles, uh, again, with those corresponding values. Um, so again, our bigger, the bigger the data is, the larger the circle is. Um, and we also want to go on and fill in the colors. So let's add a fill attribute. And this one will be a function here of D of I. And again, we want to return in here uh, colors of I so that they will have that corresponding color in here. Um, <laughs> now, let's go on and actually maybe take a look at this to make sure that everything's working out. Whoops. Um, mm, or is that not it? Let me, let's double check. Let's go over to 8080. Uh, circle chart. Whoops. Uh, so nothing's working yet. Let's actually double check and inspect this and see what we have in here. We have everything in here but it is not mm, I think I need to work on I think I need to translate uh, I need to translate it no translation they're at zero zero but I don't think that's quite right I think we need to actually have it translate uh, 
Let's double check here. Uh, oh, we haven't actually created any circles. That, that's probably why um, in there. So let's let's go back and check real quick. And here we can actually just see, I was definitely being a bit of a bonehead. Notice here, I just started appending all of this on just to the group element. Um, and I need to actually go over here and do something like um, group uh, dot append circle, okay, before we actually add in our attributes. So then that's maybe clean this up just a little bit. We should now be able to go over here and write. Yeah, okay, so now we actually have each of our sizes. Uh, we need to make this bigger because we're cutting off our sixth um, uh, circle in there. So let's make this um, 800 by 800. There we go. So now we see here we have each of our circles. And again, maybe we need to, we may want to try, like in another video, we may try scaling. So now let's add in a number inside of um, each of those to give the actual text. So let's go through here and let's add in group dot append here. We want uh, text. Uh, attribute here of X, which is again going to be some function of D and I, and we want to return I multiplied by 100 plus, we did 50 here, uh, but we want it to be over a little bit so that they're centered. So let's let's maybe try 45 for now. We may want to change that up to something else so that it looks a little bit more centered. Y value in here um, we'll say is just 105. Attribute stroke here. Um, just say it's black. Uh, font size in here we want this to be I want a big 20 pixels oh, and that needs to be in quotes uh, we want font family again let's do our sans serif Uh, and then last thing but not least is to actually add in the text. So uh, function of D, uh, return D. All right, uh, needs to go over a little bit more. So 40. There we go. Not quite in the center, but we can we can live with it for now. Um, and let's change this to white for the outline. Um, that looks terrible. No, let's leave it at black. Okay, so again, you can see here that we showed we have a nice circle graph. They started out 10, they go all the way up to 35. Um, and again, we could always extend this to make it larger. Um, so again, this is creating a, a circle graph uh, with a D3. If you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.